Hello, my Sock Universe. I was so close to wearing this last jersey. Oh, this was not meant to be. But before we get to what happened in the midweek round in the two Bundesligas, I reached 500 subscribers uh, this morning and thank you very much for that. I have shot a video showing you the new jersey I got from this bag. Uh, it will come tomorrow. I just had already posted a Super League video. I'm gonna post this Bundesliga video. So uh, you will get that one to tomorrow, but a little bit to look forward to. I have a jersey sort of to celebrate 500 uh, subscribers. And again, thank you so much. This is a huge honor having reached that milestone and I hope more will come. Yeah, the Bundesliga was, we got some certainty, certainty, certainty. <laughs> um, Schalke is down and I should not be laughing because Schalke is one of the four teams in the Bundesliga that I really, really like and I'm afraid there might be another one too. But that team, Köln, I'm not giving up. I'm wearing the red because when they wear red, they're doing great things. Köln still living for another they getting a huge win over Leipzig we are also almost certain up top because with that win Bayern is just a win away from becoming champ champions again so more or less they are champions and the other thing is so many penalties missed so many missed this round it was crazy in Austria also I mean championship is more or less done although Saul Salzburg had a shock loss to Tirol but due to Lasken and Repeat sharing the points and Wolfsburg winning Graz everything is close together everyone has, has, has a shot at the Champions League spot at the moment which is also cray crazy and we have uh, some movement in the relegation battle as well which might be a non-battle again because if Austria Vienna goes down who knows the games. Uh, Köln Leib Leipzig is the first one here and this was to me the biggest result of the round even though uh, we got certainly other ones but uh, Leipzig outplayed Köln for the most part of the first half but it was Jonas Hector who had a very offensive role. I always see him more as a defensive midfielder if not a defender but uh, he was very offensive very active and he had the one chance for Köln but Leipzig completely outclassed him in the first half but right and at the start of the second, Horn uh, cross and Hector puts it into, in, into the net. However, Haidara then uh, converts a really nice shot in 59th. But again, a minute later, it's just to knock it out, uh, out again. Hector with another goal. And this one was beautifully played um, uh, to get this one. So uh, I tell you, this current team is actually not that bad. They're just not scoring goals. And um, with the other results going the way they went, it's still not quite certain that they will make it. I'm keeping my finger fingers crossed because that's a team I really think should be in the Bundesliga. A team that should be in Bundesliga as well, but will not be Schalke. And uh, yeah, they have they have deserved going down. Uh, I have I have seen this season and they definitely need to be in rebuild building mode. The game against Bielefeld, where Bielefeld played in very nice churches with it looked like Mo Monaco but in blue and white however why does it have to be the same thing front and back which creates a really weird uh, shape on, on the side that I didn't understand also the Schalke wagers I understand why it was worn this way but uh, still the contrast was not there there needs to be a much much darker jersey there in any case I really have to say this was not a good game that was decided by close uh, for a shot that a goalie needs to have, uh, was not much come, 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 come from Schalke, and uh, close missed the penalty uh, in the 80th, and then um, he's uh, right after after that he pulled it in in, in the net, but he was off offside. Um, they did did not count, but you know it was too little for uh, Schalke to uh, still have a chance. They would I think they would have needed a win there for Bielefeld a big win there as well. So. Um, they're actually looking rather strong as well. Bayern, not much trouble. I mean, Chupo Moting and Kimmich within 15 minutes had it 2-0. Uh, yeah, Leverkusen came back, but it was not. It was a 4 4 conclusion. Bayern literally now uh, at, at the doorsteps of being crowned champions again. Um, the Frankfurt Augsburg game was interesting in the sense that the first goal was scored by Hinteregger, who should have already been sent off for a rather rough challenge just a few minutes er earlier. And the coach took him then off because, you know, he played for Augsburg. There some His departure was acrimonious in, in a way, so it was a little bit too hot. Um, 
Frankfurt overall the better team controlling the game, uh, getting the second goal after Costa Jersey through Andre Silva, who I have the jersey up there. And then uh, Augsburg had a way back, but uh, Finn Bogason so poorly shot the penalty and over the, uh, the crossbar. And there was just no way back and uh, Frankfurt gets a big win. Hertha Freiburg was postponed be again because Hertha is in character quarantine and there is some trouble brewing there. And I have to say, Hertha will probably have a tough program to end the season because they have many, many makeup games and that could make or break their season, to be honest. Dortmund against Union. What a lucky win for Dortmund. Within 12 seconds, Union Berlin hit the bar because Emre Can spills the ball. And Emre Can is for me the one, one player where you think he should provide quality for Dortmund, but his so is not. His so is not in any way uh, a, a, a strong member of the team. Yes, there's experience there, but he makes so many, many, many errors that um, if you're Dortmund fan, you're probably very upset with him. Uh, it has to be said, the game was rather, rather even. It was then... Uh, Rather lucky penalty that was, uh, was given where Royce definitely is looking for the car 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 and the uh, goalie. It does everything to not have contact. However, there is a slight touch. The penalty and the penalty is given. Holland steps up, it is saved. The rebound, the goalie, uh, I think Lutte, uh, more or less has it, but it slips under his leg. And then Royce can pull it on uh, from, from, from a short, short distance. It was very, very unlucky. Union hits the crossbar a second uh, time in the second half. So they were very well in, in the game. And only lay late on when Guerrero they made it 2 0. I think Dortmund had, to, uh, had it safe. But Union is a really, really strong team. And yeah. Maybe Dortmund overall deserved it. They had more chances, but um, I, have, I, have, I have to have to say um, there was also a draw in there. A draw was also in there between uh, Hoffenheim and Gladbach. No, uh, Gladbach twice shot, twice shot and goal in the first half and twice scored. Hoffenheim hit the woodwork, had many chances, and there was nothing like that. Two nil at the half for Gladbach, completely against the run of play. Player and Lazaro scoring goes to in 25th and just before the half half time. Uh, but just after Kramaric uh, scores because he doesn't hit the ball fully, which is also something you have to make. 60th, Bebu uh, gets the equalizer and then Kramaric scores the winner. Fully, fully, fully deserved there. Uh, Wolfsburg also with a very routine performance, you know, being just clinically. Schlager gets a goal in the 13th. Stuttgart, a, a, a team that is really fun, fun to watch, plays open, always attacking. But, you know, also a little bit green in, in, in many ways. It also showed they also get a penalty that first, uh, uh, that first is saved by Castells and then Förster, who, shoot, who shot it, puts it over, over the bar when he has, has an M in it. How it's done, two minutes later, Brekala to Weghorst puts it into net, 2-0. Uh, Gerhard makes it 3-0, it's done and only laid on uh, Castro in stoppage time. Makes it 1-3, but that was always going to be a, um, a Wolfsburg win there. And then Mainz makes probably the escape of the season because they were at halftime, you would say Schalke and Mainz are down. No, Mainz really coming back big time. Solai uh, scoring the goal or, or in 16th. Uh, I mean, the big discussion, but Mainz was all over the, big, 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 uh, the better team. But Sargent scored a goal where... Um, it is not clear whether the goal, the Mainz goalie really had full control of the ball when it was knocked out because in the uh, replay it looks not quite like it. But it was not, not, not given uh, VAR disallowed it. I thought this was a little bit um, iffy. There, Bremen trying, but they, I think it's their fifth or sixth loss in, in a row and slowly Bremen is in danger of going down. Uh, they are now right in there in the relegation battle. Mainz more or less only 10% Bremen 24% Bielefeld 32 Hertha still 16 because they have two games in hand and current 64 but uh, Hertha I think is also rather rather threatened. I It's a really hard race to call at, at, at the moment. I know 
Current seems to be the ov ov obvious choice that goes to go, go down. I won't count out Hertha and I'm not sure about Bielefeld either as well. But Bielefeld is training in the right way. Adjusting actually doesn't change much, but it shows that Hertha really has a big hill to climb. In the expected standings we see as much. I mean, Hertha would lost some spaces, uh, but they will still be ahead. And Werder Bremen suddenly on par with Bielefeld. This seemed not too long ago rather unfathomable, I have, I have, I have to say. Schalke has said it's down, Bayern is champion, Leipzig will finish in second. The Champions League races, yeah, uh, Dortmund has a slight chance uh, hanging about there, but it's still, uh, it's, especially with the games to play, it still seems that Wolfsburg and Frankfurt will make it, although there is a Wolfsburg-Frankfurt game. Uh, for a Wolfsburg Dortmund game coming up this weekend, which is pretty huge. Um, Bayern could become champions at Mainz. Huge game for Köln against Augsburg. Uh, that is a must win if they want to have any, any chance because Bielefeld has to play at Gladbach, who may have a slight chance into Europe. So, uh, very in interesting there. Frankfurt also having not an easy game, but uh, Frankfurt could be the big, big winner, if, especially for Wolfsburg and Dortmund take points off of each other. Frankfurt could again put some cushion in there. I don't know whether Hertha can play against Schalke. That I don't know as of this moment uh, will be interesting to see. As I said, in Austria, there were also quite some movements because Admira down wins at Altach uh, and St. Pölten only gets a draw at Hartberg, which is a credible result. And Austria Wien late gets a draw against Ried. But Austria Wien, as I said, there is still, uh, they have not had to submit documents, I think, by Tuesday to see whether they have the uh, guarantee from a bank to have the 7 million to guarantee the next season will be a decision. Many, many say that uh, slightly optimistic, but I have a feeling it might go to a third round and that there they cannot do any new documents. So we have to see. Uh, the big result was definitely Tirol beating Salzburg after being twice down. Baden Frederiksen is a player that belongs to Juventus that has been scoring goals for, for Tirol quite some. Uh, Sturm Graz was by far the better team against Wolfsburg, um, but could not convert, where were the chances, and then get a penalty, I think, against them, uh, where the player is sent off. It was one of, one of, one of these, you know, uh, the foul, it is uh, taking away a, a goal-scoring opportunity, but <laughs> Lindl converts it and gets a big win. And then Lusk against Rapid was, no, I, I saw that game fully. The first half was not a good half. Um, the two were can can cancelling each other out. Second half, few more chances on both sides. Uh, Egg action, he the hitting post, but also Knazmer have 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 good chance. The golden finally comes for Lask in the sixty third uh, when Goiginger really. Uh, he gets the ball free, then he cuts back to get rid of his defender and then through the legs of, of the goal, the internet. Wonderful goal. At that point, then Lask was really, really pressing um, to go forward. And uh, on the counter, they give up a free kick, and the free kick is taken out. Uh, Kara headed towards the goalie. It was not a strong header, and he just mishandles it. And then the ball rolls to Karnasman, who, who makes it 1-1. Came out of nowhere. On balance, I think a draw was fair, but once you made this 1-0, from that moment on, Lask was then the better team. The 1-1 again neutralized the game, and everyone said, okay, 1-1 probably is the just result. I, I actually thought at that, that point that they will lose that game, because this is what happens against Rapid. At least we snapped the losing streak, but we have to win against this team that I still am convinced. Yes, it's very tightly matched, but Lask is overall the better team. Ah! And this is the team I, I, I want Rapid to be beaten every single time. Anyway, it gets a lot closer. I mean, championship done. But uh, see, between Rapid and Tirol, only six points. It is super, super, super tight. Um, the one thing is that with the draw, Rapid and Lask could actually separate themselves a little bit from Sturm. And as, as we see, the next round will decide a whole lot. Uh, but everyone has a chance a little bit on the to go into the Champions League. On the bottom, Admira Wacker is not last anymore, but they have now to play two games against Austria, who is the highest rated team in, in, in there. That's why they still have the highest chance of going down. But it is a lot, lot closer at this moment and uh, the expected uh, standings say about as much. It is very close, I still would say Rapid and Lask will finish 2-3, and three, although with Lask um, it looks better, 
but I'm not quite certain about that. Uh, on the weekend, last cast to play against Sturm, this will decide a whole lot. They have not, uh, all these games are not doubles, so they have the home and away. And half have to say Sturm Lask is probably a big decider for the Lask season, whether it goes towards a second or third place finish or whether um, you have to really uh, worry about the third place finish. So those will be two big games right there. Uh, and as I said, going uh, in the lower one, the big one is will Austria Vienna stay in the league or not? So that was it from me from the Bundesliga. It's maybe a little bit short, short video, but that's not, not, not bad. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.